never late to listen to the word of God. I want you to sit back as the man of God bring the word. I'm not challenging your opinion, but let me tell you the truth. Things like drinking and smoking and all of these vices where you dump all kinds of junk into your body, you are killing yourself. You are killing yourself very fast, not even slowly. Apostle, it does not matter. It's your life. But you see, in taking decisions, it is wicked and selfish to not think about your children and not think about those connected to you as you take decisions. Are we together now? Yes. There are many people today who through their carelessness they have left liabilities for society simply because they were not thoughtful enough any major decision you are about to take in life especially your health i want you to think about all those who are connected to you what will happen now if i die if you are careless with your life and you pass on now what becomes of them when you are thoughtful you will not be careless with your life and your body what happens to you now if you pass on leaving three or four children who are barely in primary school it's, it was not an attack that killed you just carelessness with your health let me tell you this my deliverance over this issue of health came i've shared it with you at the end of the year when i'm doing my personal retreat i gauge my progress against many indices my spiritual growth mental transformation health and wellness relationships finances purpose and all of that and for three years consecutively i found out that the worst performing area in my life was my health for very justifiable reasons i could travel for a meeting return back in the night return back i had to make up my mind to say mr man if you die and you kill yourself let it be known to you that you killed yourself because i know that god loves me sincerely he has invested his love and his jealousy upon my life and i made up my mind i said no more even if it is one step at a time i will begin to correct it this is a prophetic word for someone right now and for somebody the truth is you have the means god has helped you it's time to be serious he that walks with the wise shall be wise you are in a house where there's smoke carbon monoxide all the time and you are just inhaling this with your children you have the money to move to a better place please get out of that place for the sake of the safety of your children you are in a room there is a jerry can of kerosene there is a jerry can of petrol it next to your bed your nose is directly touching the the petrol while you are sleeping and you have five million naira ten million naira in your account when you die what is going to happen to the money we need to learn to be wise i've told you the purpose of resources is for efficiency and time redemption don't pile millions and billions in your account and be cutting short your days because of selfishness greed you have a car of 20 30 million lying down in your house and you cannot put hundred thousand naira to invest in your health it is not wise I'm sorry if I'm harsh. We're wrapping up, but I need to say this. I rather have a car of one million naira packed and have a body of one billion naira health wise. It was a wise bargain. You can't be having cars and houses, estates and mansions, and then to invest in your health is a problem. There are many people who cannot spend 20,000 naira. They can go to a restaurant, a priority restaurant, and spend 500,000 in a moment. Just proving a point, but for their health. It is often said that health is wealth. A dying man has the desire to get his health back, not his businesses back, not the estates back. One of the greatest contributions you can make in a life, let me tell you, is helping them to know god and love god and helping them to live healthy as much as possible when you are buying birthday gifts for people try it concentrate on their health don't buy things you know they will not use hallelujah
you see someone whose whose leg is is tiny like this you buy you go and waste your money and buy a shoe of over 1 million size 45 that person is not even going to use it are we together you can get health products you can invest fruits veggies you can even buy a book about living in health and give the person you have invested in that person's life i made up my mind that in the name of jesus i will be healthy it's a it's a determination i will be healthy i'll be healthy because there is a lot to do for the kingdom and i know how i stretch myself by reason of the work that i do most people see me and say apostle do you rest i, I may not rest every day but i've been able to squeeze out a system and at least it's working hallelujah so when you try to call maybe in the middle of the night and you say apostle you told us you, you'll be there for us remember i am resting remember i am resting because believers have a way of blackmailing you spiritually they just come up with all kinds of emotions and say remember you said i said i will be there for you jesus who said you'll be there for you why didn't you quarrel here <laughs> he said i will never leave you nor forsake you hallelujah don't worry i'll be there for you as much as possible but when i'm when i'm resting i'm resting it's as simple and honest as that gone are the days where people shout and say you are this and start sending you scriptures and say listen the bible says a shepherd that cannot just delete it and rest please allow people to you should you should be secured enough to not be bullied by all those those childish things you see when you walk yourself and stretch yourself and don't rest and you die let me tell you what people will say hey yeah uh, and that's the end of it i made this mistake when we started newly i would walk myself and not rest my deliverance came when i went to a catholic cathedral i saw a crucifix and it occurred to me that i didn't die for any man now i love people don't get me wrong but it was not my face that was on that crucifix so i will be there for everybody as much as i can there are pastors and leaders who have thrown their families in disarray thrown their health in disarray thrown their finances in disarray all in a bit to serve people who will largely not be grateful love people but don't be a fool in the name of jesus so seven keys i have given you let's do a recap and then we pray and i speak over your life from today there are information some of you have been planning after koinonia to go and just about something zip your mouth god wants to bless you for as long as samson kept the secret he remained a mystery but when he opened up the secret to a strange woman called delilah that was it he said cut your hair he was a covenant that god made it was the covenant of the spirit of might but he threw away that covenant on the laps of delilah and she got up and told the people yeah give me my money and the people came and cut his hair a great man all of a sudden because he could not close his mouth silence cannot be misunderstood you must know when to speak and he got up and all of a sudden there was no strength notice what the people did the moment they found out that they had captured him they removed his eyes not his hand was he with his eyes he destroyed them because the eye is the light of the body they looked for the source of illumination in his life and plucked it out and he became a slave once a great man now he was just pushing and grinding and they stood before him to mock his god some of us have lost a lot of things in our lives because of the atmosphere that we have kept. You used to love God in true holiness and righteousness until one player came into your life. That player must go out this night in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to send him an intentional, constructive text appreciating he's been in your life so far and letting the person know that you have had the word of God and you are determined 
determined to press into God. If you are not, if you are embarrassed to do this, then you have demonstrated your willingness to remain at your current level. When Abraham started the journey, he never told the people where he was going. Even Isaac, there were certain parts of the information that were kept as secret. Is that true? It was revealed as they went. After three days journey, he knew that these guys will stop him because of compassion. To say maybe something has touched Oga's head. Let's help him so that he will recover. And he said, I'm not ready for that. Stay behind. We are ready to rise. And it was only him and his sacrifice. When he got there, Isaac started looking. Abraham kept these things. Was he a fool? No. You think Isaac would climb that mountain if he knew he was the sacrifice? Please answer me. Do you? Uh, Isaac was 13 years. Do, do you think he would just climb the mountain? Just like that to go and die. For what? And while he was going up, Abraham was like, Daddy, why are you moody? He said, God is faithful. Let's go. And he continued. When he got there, he just grabbed the guy and put him when they set the altar. And he said, Son, I'm about to kill you. I'm sorry. If I told you, I have to obey God. When he lifted it, God says, Stop. You kept this thing. As a father, you saw your child and you didn't even reveal it. He didn't reveal it to his wife. Bone of his bone. Flesh of his flesh. He didn't reveal it. Does that mean he does not love his wife? Was Abraham that even lied so that they won't carry his wife from him? He loved her. But there are certain things in life. There are some of us, there are certain information because of the emotional fragility of the women around our lives. Sisters, wife husband you keep silent first are you getting what i'm saying and then it can come in bits and can come progressively the way you can come to a man and say somebody just died now it may not be like that for a lady if you learn that wisdom you are great hallelujah there are certain people the best time to tell them in news is when it has happened so they will just join in the celebration but once you involve them in the process they don't have the faith to believe with you so they will discourage you when abraham was coming down i can imagine abraham going back and say honey come sit down i want to talk to you <laughs> the last three days have been days of war and she said talk to me say you know you would have lost your child today sarah will say that's it isaac you are going nowhere with your father for as long as i'm alive <laughs> see that but that would have been disobedience there are some information that should not get to some people because they are too emotional to become part of your destiny helpers. They love your present too much. They will run away when you are going through the gates of the next level. They will beg you. Remember, they begged Jesus. They did a lot of things. Master, this and that and that and that and Jesus. Everybody ran away from Jesus. Only John the Revelator. He stood there. Say, if, if you are killing me, let me die on the cross there. All the rest. Even Joseph, his earthly father, ran away. I'm sure Joseph would have said, You and the rabbi that you had this child with, let him go and advocate for you. I don't have any papers to sign. I'm not guaranteeing any dead body. Even to find out what happened, the Bible never records that Joseph was standing there hallelujah but mary she stood there john stood there peter and all the people who spoke nonsense they stood there they ran away that's why when jesus resurrected in john 21 from verse 15 he said simon peter lovest thou me more than this you want me to give you access to the deep things of the spirit do you love me more than that and after that decision Peter made up his mind and never denied him till he died. Till he died. There is a friend that can stick closer than a brother. Find that friend. Sister, any man who loves you just because of beauty, you are in for a rude shock. I repeat, you are in for a rude shock. Brother, 
a lady who likes you because you are a bubble or because you have money or because of this you are in trouble all kinds of nonsense we do especially as young people god is speaking to you check your association and only give people who have earned the right they have proven that they are men and women of genuine integrity the gift of access you have 18 prayer partners according to the problem continue the gift of genuine people that you can have somebody in your life that you know this is a friend if you tell this sister you can tell her look let me tell you something this morning this and that happened and the sister can say i love you you know that and it's from the depths of your heart you are not afraid whenever you are there you sense the atmosphere of truth you sense the atmosphere a genuine atmosphere that when that she can look at me and come and say apostle this is the problem with me i don't have a womb no, that's not the testimony i'm just giving i don't have a womb and i can look at her and say don't worry jesus is able to do it and not just that i'm just saying ah, jesus is able to heal you ah, this is trouble who is that guy that likes herself i will call him now and say please oh, i need to see you because there's fire on the mountain that i mean it hallelujah hallelujah hold the hands of your neighbor as you are seated and pray for him and say lord make my neighbor reliable